I was cleaning up my digital files one morning, getting everything in order for another tax season, when she walked in. Why, Mrs. Davis, what an unexpected pleasure. Sorry not to call first, but you know the hair salon game. I had a cancellation, and I thought to myself, Holly, today's the day to get those taxes done. So here I am. Did I ask you how I looked? Just as vibrant as ever? <laughs> Are you still working over at Hair Dreams? Oh, no. See, I finally got custody of my 10-year-old Christina. So I opened up a little shop of my own in the house, so I'd be home when she gets home from school. Um, excuse me, Mrs. Davis. Let me just open up your records from last year and open up a new file for this year. Take your time. So what's the name of your new business? Hair Heaven. How perfect is that? Uh, with your own business now, you must file a Schedule C. How much did you make last year? $12,000. <laughs> and did you bring records with you? Records? Um, I don't know what you mean. Well, for taxes and to claim the EITC, you must show how much you took in in income, like salon fees and tips. I have to count my tips? Look, that's not income, that's a gra for good service and my winning personality. It counts as income. I'll also need all of your allowable expenses for equipment, supplies, etc. If you didn't keep careful records, then you'll need to reconstruct them to the best of your ability. Otherwise, as an ethical preparer, I cannot do your taxes. Well, I am good at construction. <laughs> Tell me what to do. May I? Um, sure. Do you have an appointment book that shows what clients you had each day? Oh, yeah. Good. <laughs> Do you give receipts to your customers and keep copies? Well, no, <laughs> but I put down in my appointment book how much they pay. Good. Tips, too. Good. <laughs> Do you provide uh, hair color, spray, shampoo, conditioner, etc.? Oh, yes, it is a full-service salon. Well, these are all allowable expenses. Do you have receipts for purchasing them? Well, I didn't save them, no, but Judy, down at the beauty supply store, she'll know what I bought and when. She stores everything on a computer just like you. <coughs> Great. <coughs> Great. Well, you'll need to get a complete list. Don't forget equipment, too. Hair dryers, combs, <coughs> curling irons, etc. I used my credit card for everything. Does that count as a record? Yes. Uh, <laughs> please pull all your statements for last year. Now, <laughs> tell me, do you have an area in your home set aside just for the salon? No, I just use the kitchen sink for shampoo and color. <laughs> then I uh, style them up while they have a cup of coffee. <laughs> do you ever go to clients' homes? Oh, no, they come to me. They like the ambience. <laughs> Mrs. Davis, I cannot continue this discussion if you don't stop the All done. Please continue. <clears throat> so, when you come back, Mrs. Davis, you'll need to bring complete records as we've discussed today. Be sure to total all of your income, including tips, all of your expenses, Bring all of your credit card statements or complete record of purchases from the beauty supply store. This is gonna take some time. <laughs> yes. So it's good you're starting early. Once we get this year squared away, I'll show you how to keep proper records from now on. Mrs. Davis? 
You look so... Organized. It's my new thing. I went through every page of my appointment book and totaled up all my fees and tips. Turns out I made a little less than I thought. I also calculated how much hair color and other supplies I used based on the number of appointments and types of service I did. Excellent. Then I cross-referenced my credit card receipts for supplies with the printout the supply store gave me just to make sure my estimates from the book were accurate. This looks very thorough. And nice summary sheets. Why, thank you. So will I get the EITC? How much will it be? Well, according to these figures, you made $10,500 in services and tips last year with expenses of $1,900. That's a net income of $8,600. And yes, you do qualify for the EITC, although not as much as last year's. I was hoping for more money. <laughs> but this is what you rightfully should get based on actual records. Records you could back up in case the IRS ever wants to audit your return. You know, this organizing thing is giving me ideas.